Okay, another experiment and a questionable one again. Uh, if you've seen my previous video on this little guy, you may remember I mentioned that um, he uses a very special little weird little battery. And uh, where is it? And um, they, they're basically impossible to get. <laughs> See if I can find the original battery for him. Yes, there it is. See, so that's the original battery for him. 35 million power, tiny little thing with a rat tail there. I've tried and tried, and it seems like it's impossible to get those batteries anywhere, and that one won't hold the charge anymore. The only battery I could get with a rat tail is that one, which is a one cell with a rat tail, but it's, of course, a great deal bigger. So I don't know whether he's going to be able to do anything with that much weight on. I really don't want to destroy him because I like him, but I can only get like a, a, a less than two minutes of flight now with that other battery because it just won't hold a charge. And I can't get anything else. It comes, it's a hobby people thing, comes with its little toy transmitter there, but it works, sort of, three channel. Now, uh, let me see. Can I even plug this in? Well, yes, there's no reason why I wouldn't be able to plug it in, really, I mean, it's famous last words, but, I mean, it's the same plug. Ah. Getting it to go in and hold, however, is another matter. I think this one's the problem. It, that's another problem. This thing is coming loose off the... Uh, oh, I don't know. Let's slide that back further. I don't know. See, because it's very awkward to do. Just to get the um, I don't getting the socket ah, flaming out. Getting the plug into the socket without breaking things is very it's very hard to do. I can't seem to do it. Okay, that's in I think now. Now we'll slide that forward again, because that's about where I figured it needs to be to get the center of gravity. That's just the... That whine is the magnetic actuators on the tail doing things. But I, you know, he's probably not going to have enough power to get off the ground with this uh, big heavy battery under... Well, big heavy... <laughs> I mean, it weighs about two grams, but <laughs> three grams, maybe I should weigh it. But I mean, it doesn't weigh much. But the point is, the, pl the whole plane weighs like about that. And the original battery weighs like about half a gram. So it's all very iffy. <sighs> is there any chance that's going to fly? Who knows? Yes. Somewhat to my surprise, that actually flies. Considering how much extra weight we put on it, I'm kind of surprised. Now, the other problem, of course, is going to be landing it's going to be a bit tricky because... Mind you, the center of gravity, I did take care to keep the center of gravity the same. It's got way more power. This is 200 milliamp hour, so it's like whatever that is. About six times, almost six times, five, more than five times the power of the original battery. On the other hand, of course, you're carrying its extra weight. Uh, the other point I was, that was, the point I was making is that his, his low voltage cutoff is cut off. There's no warning or anything. His motor just stops going when he senses low voltage. And uh, just stops dead. And you've, got to, you've still got control over the magnetic actuators and you have to glide him in which worked fine with the original super lightweight battery. How well he's going to glide in for a landing with this much heavier battery on, I don't know. Frankly, I'm really surprised he flies at all. I really did not much expect him to be able to carry the weight to get up with that. I've I got to put them on a scale and see how much they weigh comparatively. But clearly, you know... It's five times the capacity, five and a half times the capacity, more or less, this battery, and it probably weighs about five and a half times as much. Um, so it's, it's, you know, kind of surprising almost 
that he can carry the weight of Fred's here. Fred's coming. Fred said he might come this morning. Yeah, come back. Well, I'm really, uh, you know, you win some, you lose some, but uh, I'm sort of surprised this guy can fly with this much weight on. The question is, can I land him with this much weight on without breaking anything? I sincerely hope so, because I'm rather fond of this little guy. But, you know, I mean, we would not have been able to fly a frat, you know, we would have gone to low voltage cutoff ages ago with the, the original battery. Not when it was fresh. When it was fresh, you got about five minutes, four and a half, five minutes, maybe. You, and there was no arguing about it. The motor just stopped when it felt it didn't have enough, uh, enough amperage or whatever, voltage or whatever. Um, but, um, uh, yeah. Then it, but it, as, as it stopped holding its charge, it was only a 35 milliamp power, he, he, he got to the point where I could only get like a less than two minutes of flight off him before he cut off. And I tried the 70 milliamp hour batteries from the micro, whatever they call it, micro vapor. I should bring the micro vapor out sometime. I still got that somewhere. I think it maybe needs a bit of repair. It needs a little bit of tape or something on its fabric, but otherwise it still flies, I think. And that again, you've got to fly with absolutely no wind. It's even more, less like an aeroplane than this. It flies like a butterfly, that micro vapor. Anyway. Um, uh, but I tried the batteries from that on him, but, but they've not got the rat tail, you know, so you have to plug them directly into the thing and then they just sort of stick down. There he is, tiger. Hobby people, micro tiger moth. I think they, they made a Cessna uh, in this same setup. I, I never saw it, never had it, never saw it, but, uh, uh, but I believe I, I read that they made a... Uh, they made a Cessna, because I've got a, a rubber band holding that battery on, which is another little bit of weight, but, you know, it, it wasn't going to hold on with Velcro. I kind of want to land him now, but I'm nervous about trying to land him because I don't want to break anything. How does he glide? Ah, it's not too bad. Didn't look much worse than his original landings. Well, I'm, uh, you know, you win some, you lose some. That one I was quite pleased about. He seemed to fly okay. And, uh, trying to stop the magnetic actuators bu uh, buzzing. Here's Fred. So i still talking to my half. I'm just going to take the battery out of this guy. We've got a new battery for him. Well, not the right battery, but managed to get him to fly with it. <sighs> Now I've got to get it out without damaging anything. But anyway, I'm pretty pleased with that. Okay, one thing at a time. So there you go, he did fly with it. So, and I mean, probably he could have flown for a lot longer with that. It's 200 milliamp hours.